All right. As long as there's no more gunshots, I'll stay. What is your name? Did you tell me? <clears throat> A nail. Fine. Are you new in town? I know everyone. I don't ever recall seeing you before. I just moved to town not too long ago. With your family? No, ma'am. I, I don't have any family to speak of. With your husband? Oh, my husband? That's hard to say. I, I don't know. You don't know? I'm not sure. Well, I'm intrigued, Anel. I mean, are you married or not? These are not difficult questions. Oh, we're not. Well, he's not. I can't talk about it. Oh, of course you can. I'm not sure if I'm married or not. He's gone. Oh, honey. Men are the most miserable creatures. Everything is miserable. Bunky, that's my husband. He left. We only moved here a month ago, and he just vanished last week. No idea where he went? Nobody knows. He took all the money, my jewelry, the car. Most of my clothes were in the trunk. There might have been foul play. Have you been to the police? No, but they've been to me. He's in big trouble with the law of drugs or something. He never paid rent, so I got thrown out of our house and had to move in it. Crazy old Miss Robelies. The police keep questioning me, but I don't know anything. They say my marriage may not be legal. Oh, you sort of said something. I was scared to. I need a job in the worst way. And I didn't know if you'd hire someone who may or may not be married to someone who might be a dangerous criminal. But I swear to you that my personal tragedy will not interfere with my ability to do good hair. 